We're James and Holly, and for over 10 years we've both been spending all of our hard-earned money on travel. But things are about to change. We bought a house! Yeah. <laughs> and the house we have bought is a doer rapper, so we've got to do everything in the house. And we've never done anything quite like this before, so we're complete novices. <laughs> Welcome to our new adventure. Hey guys, and welcome back to our house renovation series, and this is episode nine. And unfortunately, it's not episode nine of Star Wars. No, that's next month. That's <laughs> next month. Talking of next month. It's also Christmas. It's also Christmas in one month's time. It'll be all over in a month's time today. It will be. Oh gosh. Thank goodness. Joking, but <laughs> we are like in full swing mm -hmm. of trying to get a bedroom sorted by Christmas, or kind of both bedrooms. Both rooms. We're this going room, for two rooms. Main bedroom. This one. Second bedroom. Other one. Just keep saying second games bedroom. Room. It's more of a games room. We're trying to get both of these rooms done before Christmas so we can move in and actually sleep on our own bed in our own house. But it, it might be a bit optimistic. Probably going to be a bit optimistic, as you can see in today's video. Look at it! The progress is in full swing now. I am so happy. Holly, are you happy? I'm ecstatic. We are so excited <laughs> right now because the main bedroom has been fully plastered all the way around. I mean, look how good this all looks. Obviously, it's not been painted because we still got to wait for this plaster to fully dry because it takes a little bit longer in the winter because it's freezing cold. And as you can tell, well, actually, you probably can't even tell now, this is one of the walls that me and Holly boarded out to get a little bit of sand in this insulation, which was on the last video. And then if we spin around, we've obviously kept the brickwork as well. So we're going to have these kind of like cool bits of features. We still kept the beam up above this brickwork will be painted that nice dark blue colour, what we spoke about many, many episodes ago. And this is the other bit in the previous video, what we built out as well. So the bed is gonna be going up against this, so this is almost gonna be like the headboard of the bed. And then we've got two lights, which are up in the corners at the moment. So they're not gonna be these little stubby, <laughs> hangy light things. They're gonna be nice, long, probably about a metre and a half cable. So then we're gonna have these really nice feature kind of they call that the Edison bulbs, so like the coil yeah. inside, like these kind of orangey, old school looking bulbs, which are going to hang right down. These are just to test it to make sure it all works and it all works. Holly! I'm so excited. We, we're, we're very excited. Oh, yeah, we've also got a window sill, which you can't actually see. We filled it up. More progress. Are you ready? What are you saying, Holly? This is. It's looking like a room! This is. Um, the spare bedroom slash games room. Uh, we've also put some plasterboard on this wall right now. We've also plasterboarded the ceiling. And sometimes you just want to crack on with it and not really pick up the camera because it's kind of a slow process and sometimes you just want to get on with it. And that's exactly what we've done. And I bet you thought that this fireplace was gonna be done, dusted, and sorted by now, but no, we still have this, I don't even know what you call this, a mammoth task to sort out this fireplace. Ever since Holly said you wanted to keep the brickwork. I'm sorry. I've now got to work out what to do with the fireplace because we were just gonna board it over with some plasterboard, which means that we would have still kept the, the actual hole of the fireplace, but we didn't have to worry about this. When me and Holly are doing work on the house, I keep thinking we're just kind of like make it up as we go along and we're bodging it. They bodged it like hundreds of years ago. <laughs> That's the biggest bodge I've seen in a Look while. Look at it, it's just, I don't even know what they've done. They've literally just piled stuff in there and put a fireplace on it. But now we took the fireplace out. We want to make this look nice. Oh yeah, and also, you might be wondering, what's a cable doing in the middle of the fireplace? We're not using the fireplace for an actual fire. We're going to have a nice, colourful, smart LED light bulb. So it needs to be your best brickwork because it's going to be, it's gonna um, be a feature. on show. No pressure. No pressure. It's going to be too good to be true. This is just going to collapse in there. Mmm. Careful. Oh. Ta -da. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Come on, Bob on. 
And one of the main bits of construction I have to do now is to build a wooden frame going into this window. The main reason is, is the room the camera's in now is the spare bedroom and this side, this is the bathroom to be. So this wall, which you can kind of see here, this goes straight into the window. Now it seems to be a fairly easy thing to do when you first look at it, but it's actually a little bit more of a challenge. The main reason is this wall isn't in the center of the window, which makes it very, very difficult because it means you have to then twist the wall at the end to go back to the center of the window. Now, the center of the window is thinner than the actual width of these beams. So we have to basically go at an angle and we have to kind of point it into a bit of a triangle to go into the window because you don't want it this thick in the window. So now I'm trying to work out what is the best way to do it. And you see, this is where things get slightly difficult as well. If we look at the old existing wood, if we put a level on it, as you can see, it's really not level at all. But the new piece, if I put a new piece in here and put a level on it, as you can see there, that we're pretty much level. At the top, we're like a good inch or so out, but at the bottom, we're like touching down here. So that's what makes things take a lot longer because you're constantly fighting new and old. Do you go level with the old stuff, which isn't level, or do you go level with what's new when you put in? So that's why you're kind of scratching your head a little bit because you're constantly fighting. Where do you get square from? Where do you level things off of? Ah, and this is taking me a lot longer to work out than I thought it would. <laughs> watching this video who's done renovations before or a carpenter or a builder or something do you watch these videos and think that I don't have a clue what I'm doing because technically I don't really have a clue what I'm doing this is the first time we've ever done anything quite like this before so I'm kind of making things up as I'm going along I think it's kind of looking all right well this whole series so far we've just kind of been making it up as we've been going along so I'd love to know in the comment section down below what we're doing is it the right thing and are we doing things the right way or are we doing things the wrong way? Just just let us know in the comment section down below. And in the meantime, I'm gonna sip on my coffee. I love it when you get that bit of plasterboard on and it covers up 
all of the crap was behind it. Oh, I feel like we get getting there. And pretty much the final thing we have to do to finally convert this room, which if you didn't know, actually used to be the bathroom. There used to be a wall, which kind of split this room in half. This used to be the bathroom. The bath used to go here. So that's the outlet for the bath. And then what Martin's doing now, this is the old soil pipe. So the toilet used to be there. This room is going to be no longer a bathroom. The bathroom is going to be in a different room. So we have to basically move all of the pipe work, which is exiting the house, move all that along so we can actually get this turned into a spare bedroom. Well, a gaming room. It's not going to be a spare bedroom. There's not going to be a bed in it. It's going to be a gaming room. <laughs> that season shit in its day. <laughs> Just a little hole to fill then. Bloody hell. You could use that as a door if you want. I think we need more than just some air. 